Okay guys, it's been two, three days since I, jeez, it's not for you, Missy. <sighs> since I filmed anything, I did take the day after the last filming off uh, of working inside and I did yard work. That's the ice maker going off in the background. Um, and I did a little bit of work yesterday and I think I've decided, um, I think I told you guys I wanted my grandfather's tool chest to be on that, this corner. But I think that I'm going to take the printer, stick it underneath of these on this corner, and then put the tool chest on top of it eventually eventually the desktop is going to go somewhere else uh you know what maybe for now the desktop is going to go next to the desk so that'll get it off of there i really do like having my cutting mat oh uh, because that's what this is it's like for chopping veggies and stuff it's glass yeah i think it's glass um but that when I'm filming overhead, it really gives me a good idea of where the camera is. So I think that's going to stay on the desk or at least next to it. So I will come back and show you how this looks so you don't have to hear any of my cussing on screen. <laughs> um, I think I might leave the monitor on the desk because... Um, if I ever get around to using the desk for computer stuff, I can just hook my laptop into it. Um, yeah, so that's the plan right now. Y'all, this took way longer than it should have, but I'm really happy. <laughs> um, yeah, so, We have Grandpop's toolbox, my laser printer, only black and white, but it was free. My sister gave it to me. That's actually where I put my mail that needs to be dealt with. Um, my other phone is forever going off on videos. This is, that's what I'm probably the most happiest about. Uh, that's a um, color inkjet printer there. So I had the printer over here, the laser printer, and uh, yeah, the cats used it to lay in like a bed, so I wasn't really happy about that. And moving things around, my girls can sun themselves now. I have the shades drawn, or the, I have the curtains drawn right now, but, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, super happy, and so I have more cinder blocks, or whatever these things are called, in the basement, um, so I brought two more up, the, both of these little wood pieces were already in here, I did put the computer here and I'm ridiculously happy that my shredder fits next to it. Computer's not on right now. Um, I did check the vent goes that way. So if I'm turning the computer on, I'll just move the uh, shredder down. Um, technically I could put the shredder down to begin with, but it's a lot easier when it's at the same height, 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 whatever proper term is um, so I'm not gonna go too in depth but this is where I put everything to file that is taxes uh, which are being done next Sunday um, so after that they'll be gone uh, I don't particularly like filing this is a filing cabinet um, all that often so that's 
just a holding spot and periodically, maybe every six months or so, I go through it, decide if I need to keep it um, or if I actually should file it. Um, and then, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep my books up here or move them into the closet because I will now have space in the closet. They'll be up high, but I don't reference them every day anyway. Um, and I am planning on putting, because this is really pretty much what's left um, versus what's still in the basement. I gotta go straighten up the basement too and figure out if there's anything more to come up. But this is pretty much all coloring books and um, like Bristol and drawing paper and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to go, I have a trash bag in here and I really, oh my goodness. Ugh. All right, I need both hands. That's my trash bag. I didn't want the cats messing with it. All right, so this is where we are right now. I've got my drawers, my little store area. Super happy about that. And I'll do a, like an in-depth tour. Um, this is all pretty much where it's gonna be, but I still have up here to deal with. And there's only so much I can move around in this small room and mess with stuff in the basement before I go crazy. So we're, we're getting close and I'm excited. How many times have I said excited in this video? I'm excited. Um, one of the other things I considered if I need it, oh hush Minnie, what are you doing? Psst, psst. Why are you crying? You hungry? Might be dinner or lunchtime. Um, I considered like having a, what do they call, a shoe organizer kind of thing with the little pockets. I'll put a picture of it here. So yeah, I considered getting one of those, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Um, I think I have determined... Oh, quit crying. I think I've determined that once these are off the top, that this really is going to have to be all my pens, pencils, crayons, um, like all of that. And I don't know if you have a Rascog cart, which is what this is. They're pretty heavy, but I'm sure that at least half the weight that I'm moving around when I have to get over the lip in the closet is these books. And they're going to go on top because what, hush, what I need access to is the pens and pencils. I'm only working on one book at a time and I can easily grab that stop. Um, I can easily grab that off the top shelf. And I don't know if you caught it, but stop it, Minnie. That's just going to live in here because your girl is short. <laughs> um, and it's, th there's plenty of room for it. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry if it sounds weird. My face is like right up next to the camera because my arms are short. Um, so I just opened up the bead weaving loom. It looks like I'm going to have some fun times ahead of me. Um, look at all these beads. Uh, seed beads. And I can't just let them stay like this. <laughs> I'm going to have to sort them because I'm a weirdo. Uh, but anyway, it's never been opened. There is a little bit of rust. That one's fine, but there's there's like rust. I'm gonna have to clean that up a little bit. Read the instructions and put this together. 
instructions. And I'm just panning over here to show you that chair with the exception of that foam stuff. Um, that's all empties. <laughs> I still have that stuff on top. Those are mostly empty boxes like that. Oh, oh side note. My iron fits in the closet now. Um, that's got locks. I'll probably put it in the kitchen, like master locks, uh, padlocks. Those are all empty. Not sure. Like they, they kind of go with the room. So I might try to figure out how to display them. Um, and then that's my, my box of junk and that's daddy stuff. And Oops, a little farther. So this is out because it's a planner and that's a sketchbook and that's a sketchbook. So I'm probably gonna work, you know, have some fun with those later. Oh, you guys see? Look at my girl sunning herself. Told you they like the sunny spot on the desk. Um, this is essentially a junk drawer right now. I'm, there's lots of, um, measuring tapes and things in here um, and miscellaneous stuff that I might be able to find a category to put in and I might not. Um, I do have room for a junk drawer in those uh, set of six drawers. Those are not my cigarettes. That's more daddy stuff. My glasses case. And then that's more daddy stuff too. So that's really what's left of oh, where do I need to to put this stuff? Uh, let me show you. Give you an update on the closet because I did move some stuff around. Okay, so we still have those go in the basement. We still have our stool because we're short. We have our drawers. This bottom one. There's not really much in it. It can be a junk drawer. Uh, Martha Stewart scoreboard, my drawing board, and then those are taller um, pieces of paper. All our findings. Those are actually keys, um, keyboard keys that I salvaged. Here's what I'm super happy about better with the light off? Nope. Um, so I told you I was going to put my coloring books and stuff up on the top. Well, <laughs> I moved some stuff around. Um, and they're there, which is, uh, this is eye height. So they're almost eye height. <laughs> All of my bits and bobbles and stuff are on display and I can see them. This is most of the miscellaneous added with. That's also a lot of miscellaneous. There's FEMO back there. That's still empty. So I'm almost thinking I might stick the keyboard keys back there. I don't know. Oh, it's dark. I kind of don't like having the beads and stuff up like that just in case they want to come loose, but I don't know. We'll see how much it bothers me there. Still deciding whether I want to move this stuff to the junk drawer also. And then I have room for growth, guys. <laughs> this is, uh, what do people call them? Iris cases. This is not Iris brand, but these are what? Five by seven little bins and all but one of them is empty. So if when my buy nothing is over, I want to expand 
expand this. There's room to grow. I also might just take it downstairs. <laughs> hiccup. Wouldn't be a carry video without a hiccup, right? Um, I might just take it downstairs and use it there. Put it with the rest of my empty boxes and stuff. That hasn't changed. That's all paper. I did move stuff around. <laughs> Um, I don't know if my guillotine, can't even see, my guillotine cutter is going to stay there or not. For right now, the, the TV is just going to stay there. There's, there's already a TV in this room and, uh, I think that was the kitchen TV. I don't spend enough time in the kitchen and I just turn the volume up <laughs> on one of the TVs if I am in there cooking or whatever. So I am going to get started on putting the loom together. Um, oh, that's what I was showing you. Um, there's space for the loom up there, so that's good. I need to find a box that appropriately fits it. Uh, I think that would probably be better than just letting it sit out on its own. <laughs> 